welcome back to Self-Compassion Sundays. Today I'm going to read a little bit from the little book of mindfulness, and it's about reconnecting to life. When teaching mindfulness, we point out that this skill may not actually heal all ills, but what it will do is change our perspective on discomfort and open new possibilities for moving from just being and struggling back towards adventurous living. You learn to live around the pain rather than focus on it all the time. Pain in your shoulder will become a pain in the shoulder and may even retreat into the background of your awareness while you focus on the breath or listen to the sounds around you. We've started to understand that mindfulness practice may prevent us from getting sick and unhappy, but it will also return our awareness to the childlike curiosity we all had when we were young. We may experience once again the wondrous qualities of nature, life, a blade of grass, clouds in the sky, a taste of a delicious strawberry, the importance of surrounding ourselves with friends and others who care deeply for us. We remember all of a sudden that it is these little moments that are true wonders of being alive. These glimpses of joy really matter because they connect us to life rather than split us from it. I found three coordinating cards today from the self-compassion deck I have. This one is called A Child in Need. If a child told you they were a failure because of some small mistake, how might you respond? Can you try the same words and tone for yourself? I think this is a really important card because speaking to a child and giving them your advice and your opinions can be important, but also there's more self-compassion in it, so this kind of Release the message of apply that compassion to yourself. The second card I have is progress, not perfection. When was the last time you did a less than perfect job and felt okay about it? When was doing good enough? I think this card is important because right now there's a lot of pressure on everyone to get certain tasks done or fulfill a certain need for the day of accomplishments. And sometimes just doing okay is good enough. The next card I have here is a friend indeed. What would you offer a friend at the end of a hard day that you can offer yourself now? This also reminds me of the child in need card that I previously brought up here. So a friend in need card. What would you offer a friend at the end of a hard day that you can offer yourself now? Sometimes the advice we give our friends out of love and compassion and just general caring, sometimes we forget to apply that to ourselves. And I think this would be a good tool to be able to give yourself the love that you offer others. Thank you for listening and I will see you next week.